Hello, Audrey Aubrey Baker. Not sure if I pronounced that right. Um, but anyways, you wanted to know about the pumps and how much flow there is in the pool. So this is your Costco special pool. And this is one of the pumps right here. Just as a size comparison, it's two inch hosing and it's running at 85 gallons per minute. That's an adjustable flow rate. I swim anywhere from 50 to 100 gallons per minute on that pump. Uh, there is the inlet and there is the outlet. So coming out of there is very fast moving water even though it doesn't look like it. So if you swim a couple feet away, you can get up to four, even five kilometer an hour water, depending on the pump. And then towards the end, the water fans out and slows down. So at the end of the pool, which is only about 10 feet difference, um, it might only be one and a half, two kilometers an hour. So you can pick the pace you want to swim at just by moving forward or back. Um, also here, this is a heated pool. I keep it at 31. There's the, oh, I focused out. Anyway, let's see if it goes back. Anyways, you can kind of see the water coming out of little hose there. This is the pump. So that's a continuous circuit circulating pump, um, which goes through a hot water tank to keep the pool at a perfect 31 degrees Celsius temperature. And that's on a GFI protected circuit, same as the pumps. Uh, this here is the filter pump that comes with the pool and I've added some 40 micron filter balls inside there and I also do chlorine pucks in there. On this end, I have the same thing with another pump. There is the inlet. Uh, the focus is out, but anyways, and that is the outlet. So the water comes down this side comes around the corner and then gets picked up by this pump and pushes down. So this pump over here is a different style of pump. And that is to give you a size as two inch hosing coming off. There's my hand and it's belt driven. And I have it belt driven so I can adjust the speed by changing pulley sizes. I have a lane rope down the center and what that does is it helps with the current. Um, another little side note is you must have these pool noodles wrapped around the edges. Uh, that's a steel pipe right here and when you're swimming if you hit the side of the pool which I did once and I learned <laughs> put on the pool noodles. Um, yeah, now just to hold the inlets and stuff, I have ropes around the edges which tie off nice, but I also have sinking weights. Those are 20 pound weights to keep the inlets in place so they don't pop out and then suck air. Uh, lighting is just standard sight lighting. I also have a clock here. Oh, I kind of see it. Anyways, you lose track when you swim in the Jaeger tank. You know, I have no idea how long you're swimming. It could be five minutes. You look up, you swear you've been swimming for an hour. It says five minutes. You're like, damn it. But other times you swim for an hour and it seems like 10 minutes. It's just, it's really weird how your brain works in the tank. It all depends on how you get going. I use an interval timer on my phone and I pop it in right here. I got two phone holders or camera mounts. So I got this one here and I have a little mount uh, like a selfie stick and I just throw it in there. That's how I take all my videos in the pool. I have taller ones too at the far end. Uh, you can kind of see it. And then I can mount it to the side of the tank here and I can get some overhead shots. You can put your phone in the pool for underwater shots. Not as much harder than it sounds. Um, then I have a great big whiteboard here. This is where I do that. And then don't forget about your swim boys. I got a quack packer here. Works perfect for the pool. I keep all my stuff in it outside the pool. And then when I swim, I put her in. And um, actually it's a him. His name is Ferdinand. 
sort of like a Cabbage Patch Kid when you buy it, it comes named. So I just <laughs> couldn't remember how to spell it, so I wrote it on there. Then you decorate it. That's enough about the Quack Packer. Um, one of the things I have here is right here. This is a bungee tie. Now, the reason you need a bungee tie, you see it's tied to the wall there. I don't recommend you tie it to the pool, tie it to a wall fixed spot. And then I have four strands of bungee. The reason though is for sprinting. When you sprint, you're gonna be swimming much faster than four kilometers an hour. So in order to do that, you set it so you're about mid range and you bungee, to bungee yourself off. I mean, I can turn the flow rate up, but it's you can never get it perfect anyway. So I found that the bungee uh, for sprinting is really good. And of course your sprints are very, very short, one minute. Um, and then on the other side of the pool, I have the same thing. It's another tether, it's tied to the wall. It's for this side, so it's two lanes, right? This one you're swimming towards the camera. This side you're swimming away, basically into the nozzle of both pumps. Uh, this one is more aggressive. I always keep this one faster paced. This one is sort of my cool down. The water flow is gentler, slower, and more consistent pattern. So I use both sides interchangeably. Um, yeah. Oh, then I got a viewing stand right here. I got a couch and chair with coolers. And it's elevated so you can see in the pool. That's for training purposes. If anyone other than me comes to train in the pool, I can watch them or their family members can watch them or their ride or whatever. And then me as a coach, I can sit right here. The swimmer is right here. You're swimming and you're talking at eye level and you have an intimate view of their swimming stroke and you can stop at any point and make corrective actions. So the, the learning curve on swimming is drastically reduced or accelerated, if you will. Yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it, Aud Audrey or Aubrey. Aubrey Breaker. Have a great day.